Hey, this is Peter Johnson with Archway Defense out of Blue Steel Ranch with Dave Castro, uh, director of CrossFit Games. As you know, Archway Defense, we travel the country training law enforcement, and why we're talking about that today is the JP5. Dave, what do you think of the JP5? The JP5, uh, in my mind, for PCC, for competition, it's a game changer. But even backing out of that, for me, uh, having spent 12 years in the Navy, uh, in the career field I chose to go into, there was a point where getting to shoot the MP5 was a rite of passage. Kind of like the gold standard? Yeah, absolutely. And and you knew you made it when you were shooting the MP5 because of the tactics you were learning and the application of it. But this gun to me feels like a modern day MP5. It has the guts of a modern of a MP5. So, so having this and getting to shoot this uh, in a modern platform built by JP, it's an amazing experience. And the actual shooting of it when you're on, uh, there's not many guns that I, the first time I shoot them, I'm like, wow, this is something special. And this is something special. And you and I both had that with the MP5, right? Yeah, when exactly. When you're like, you get your first couple rounds on and that thing, it was ubiquitous in all the special operations, all the cool guys, yeah. all the video games, everybody knew the MP5. But that was, I mean, when was that thing developed? It was back in, <laughs> It was a while ago. It's probably over 50 years old. So to see JP take the MP5 soul, if yes. you will, and mix it with an AR-15, phenomenal. So we've been bringing one on the road with law enforcement throughout the country, suppress specifically. And the nice thing about the JP5 is you know those keys, they can change the pitch on the keys to uh, reduce felt recoil. So if you're running suppressed, you can have that nice flat shooting, good follow-up shots, applying for... Uh, for active shooter, active threat, active yep. terrorism response. But then that same technology immediately comes back into that competition realm, right? Yeah, when I was, so I trained with a GMR for, for a couple of years. Great and, gun. Uh, great, amazing gun. And then I started using this and I noticed a difference in just uh, staying on target, staying in the A zone, if you will. D quick doubles, it's right there. It moves, uh, it barely moves, barely moves off of where you point it for your first shot. And then when you're ready for your second shot, it's still in place. And it's pretty intuitive. Like coming off of an AR or GMR, the drive controls, they didn't really change that much. No, they? not at all. No, it's it's exactly the same. And then anything else on like uh, the ambidextrous features that they brought into this? Cause I know we obviously, everybody knows mag release using Glock mags, but then we also have bolt catch bolt release on the, the right side, which is pretty unique for an AR platform. I'm excited about exploring this as a, a home defense platform. And I think yeah. that's the untapped potential for the PCC platform in general, especially now this JP5 is building one out for you know my safe in the corner of my bedroom as a home defense uh, weapon instead of a 223. And this, I could put this in my wife's arms and she can shoot this much, much easier than she could shoot a 223 because of the, the the, how manageable it is. Yeah, it's very, very intuitive to shoot right off the bat. And then you put a little can on that thing. Yeah, well, and it's, it's not perfect. in California. Not in California. <laughs> in, the, in the rest of the country, yeah. we'll throw a can on it. But um, phenomenal gun all the way around. What For you, what's your favorite feature of it? Um, for yeah. you personally. For me, the the act the name is super cool. That JP5. They, the JP5 it's a from tip the of the MP5. hat to like MP5. Yes, exactly. Super I, cool. That is super cool. And then the guts being the MP5, the action, this this piece of it, the internals that is giving us the magic that's making it such a good shooter. That's the beauty of it to me. Because yeah. if it didn't if it didn't shoot as well as it is, it would just be another AR with the yeah, direct blowback. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like, but so this is this is beautiful. The yeah. guts. So if. Uh, for those who don't know, the delayed roller system of the MP5 is really at the kind of core architecture and very difficult to put into an AR-15 platform. But that delayed roller, it takes up a little bit of the energy right as you start that recoil sequence. And that keeps the gun a little bit flatter and takes up just a little bit more of that juice coming back. It's a phenomenal platform. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, check out jprifles.com. Obviously follow on Instagram, Facebook, and everywhere else. Hey, Dave, thank you so much. Thank you.